You talked about it just a couple of minutes ago. You're, you're right there. What is it? What is this feeling like now, two games away? It feels amazing. It's so close, and um, you know I said this, but we've worked so hard, and I'm so proud of my team, and um, we just got to do it two more times. How nice was it to see Katie Lou uh, come out there healthy, looking healthy, and mm -hmm. just have the game that she had? It was great. She had an amazing game. Um, just she looked like she did, you know, before. <laughs> And I know she's been struggling with her back, so for her to push through that, I know she was probably in pain. And to step up the way she did in this game was just, it was amazing. Your shot wasn't falling. What can you say about your teammates who stepped up for you to hit the yeah. shots? Mm -hmm. They did amazing. Um, that's what it is about UConn. If someone has an off game, we, you know you have former people who are going to step up and um, help you out, and that's exactly what my team did. They all stepped up, and they knew I was having an off day, so um, they came out and killed it. Talk about the confidence level you guys have in Liv when you see – Katie goes to the bench with four fouls, and you know Liv's coming in. Just mm -hmm. And the job she did to help out. Yeah. Um, she's grown up a lot since the AAC tournament. Um, she just gets in there, and she knows what we need from her. Um, she blocks shots. She's not blocking them. She's altering them and getting rebounds. So um, the fact that she is doing that consistently is huge for us, and she did a good job today. You guys obviously play great team defense, but you can talk about the job that Crystal did mm -hmm. on Asia today. I mean, that's three points in the first half from – an All-American. Yeah, Crystal did a great job. Um, we came in today and s said that you know each person is going to have to guard your own person. So Crystal knew that she wasn't going to have a bunch of help from us, and she really took that in stride. Um, she held her to, like you said, three points in the first half, and um, she just did a great job. And then Megan comes up with four big threes to help you guys out in the first half. Yeah, um, I mean, what can I say? Everyone stepped up. <laughs> I mean, they did amazing. Everyone did exactly what we needed and more. Um, so I'm just so so proud of them. Talk about the feeling of running into Lou and with Lou and Crystal right there at the end mm -hmm. into their arms. This one just it feels different. We've had to work so hard for it. Um, the payoff is just so much better because it's been so hard for us, and we I mean we've earned this. What did it feel like to see Lou hit her first three of the game, and then to mm -hmm. go on and, and hit a couple more too? I mean from where you were standing mm -hmm. to see her have the game like that. Yeah, it was great. Lou came in and killed it. Um, she looked amazing, and I know she was probably in pain from her back, but she pushed through and. Um, really won that game for us. I mean, just as someone who knows who's been by her side this whole time, I mean, did you feel that, I, I don't know if it's a sigh of relief or, or what, but mm -hmm. just when she, when that, when that ball went in the, the first time, mm -hmm. I mean, just I mean, as somebody who's been with her through this whole thing, through the back, through all the great mm -hmm. games she's had, mm -hmm. to have her do that, is there a weight lifted? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a weight. I knew, you knew that you were going to get this from Lou. Um, but we talked after the game, and I was like, way to have my back, because obviously I was struggling today, and she stepped up so amazing. She said, you've had my back, now it's my turn to get yours. So, um, And that's exactly what she did. She played amazing and um, couldn't ask for anything else. When you think in there, you know, you had credit to two, and you stepped to the line, she put you mm -hmm. off your back moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking to trust my shot, because obviously I've been missing free throws. I don't know what's going on, but... Um, just to trust my shot, and they eked in there. Those final couple of minutes of that game, when they close it to two, <laughs> what are you guys saying to yourselves to just slow down, speed it up? What are you saying to yourselves when, when they close it um, to two? To be strong and to slow down. Um, we're up. We, time is to our advantage. So to make sure we don't have any turnovers is the biggest thing, which we did. But um, after that, just... Like I said, being strong with the ball and making sure that we know that we don't have to be sped up at all. How much did the crowd contribute to this game? Um, it's amazing having our crowd. It was like a home game. We have so many amazing fans that make this trip and just fans all over the country, and they make this experience better than anything. What do you feel like a game like this does for women's basketball? I mean, to see the crowd like that, to see the way your fans travel, but mm -hmm. just to have two teams like this, Louisville, give you guys a complete run for your money, mm -hmm. just on a bigger scale to be a part of something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely fun to watch. It's not so fun to play. I mean, it is fun playing, but I, if I could, I'd win by 40. But, um, yeah, I mean, we know women's basketball is amazing. It's just other people need to get on board. People are getting on board. I know, they are. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what more can you ask for? It was a close game, except for overtime, except we don't want that, though. Of all the games you've played throughout your four years, where does this one compare? Uh, this one's really high. Probably, I mean, probably won the feeling. Obviously, it was amazing to win a national championship, but to earn it like this is just, it feels really, really good. In those final minutes when Louisville's making a comeback, did it feel similar to maybe that Buffalo game a few games back? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. Uh, 
I wouldn't say it was like Buffalo. We knew that, um, I don't know. <laughs> Would you say that Buffalo experience helped you? Yeah, just because even coming off the bench, I was kind of giggling after my free throws because they eked in and CD was yelling, we're not done yet, uh, just because you know that crazy things happen in the end of the game in March. So just keeping that focus is really important for us. How, how big was that shot from Lou where she got fouled? That was amazing. Um, it was huge. It's Things like that are momentum changer, and that's two in a row she's had now. Um, she had a steal last game. So things like that is just what gets the crowd involved. It hypes us up. It changes, like I said, the momentum. So it was just it was really good.